Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Wednesday. It's coffee time. And it's bright and early. So I still have the morning congestion and sniffles. I want to apologize. Probably throw out some yawns there as well. But I hope that you are having a great day. It is Wednesday. It's a great April morning. I think that uh, we are just on the cusp of summer. It's been hot, a little cool in the mornings. Yesterday was very cold. Today's not so cool. Um, it's rather warm outside, but it's starting to get better and, well, not better, warmer. And coffee's a good thing to wake up to on these days, so you can sit out on the porch and watch that sunrise. Um, but for the sunset, you want to sit down and have a nice vodka martinis. And what better vodka can you have than Rain Cane? So really quick, let's go to our partner, Rain Cane Vodka. Hey, Cody. How are you today? So we're getting ready to um, work our cocktails for Friday and um, some ingredients we um, tend to use a lot and vodka is one of them, right? Yeah. So uh, when I make uh, cocktails, I really like a good vodka and we've used some different brands and everything, but we discovered Rain Cane just recently and I poured you some and Rain Cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had. Yeah, it's been up there because... You can, no. <laughs> and you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah. It's... And it's not low proof or anything. It's 40% alcohol. Yeah. It's an 80 proof common vodka um, from uh, Alaska. Actually, it's not from Alaska. It's from California, but they use Alaskan glacier water. Um, it is. The, so the... there's caveman pee in this? Okay. <laughs> Mammoth. Mammoth. Um, I really a, get the giant sloth and mammoth in this. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy it now. Um, Why wouldn't you? That's I, I think cool. that this is what vodka should be. It is um, non-aroma, so it's not going to... Odorless, uh, colorless. Odorless, colors. It actually tastes really good to me. It's got a... Yeah, it's, but not... It's a slight sweetness to it. Very, very um, slight. But it's not overwhelming. And I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color or the, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka. Because it's supposed to be that. It's thing. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka is supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But. So um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Now, obviously, there's local laws um, that they have no control of. But if you are yeah. able to get uh, whiskey, or sorry, if you're able to get alcohol um, shipped to your house, um, which is most states, even here in Texas, um, then you can... Um, order this online. And if you do, um, there'll be a link below and that helps us out because we have partnered with them and we will um, continue to use Rain Cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it. Um, but it's a great, great uh, vodka. I think it's probably my favorite right now. There's always changes, but um, now there's flavored ones I like too, but this is my favorite plain vodka, and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right. Have a great day, and we're going to start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So like I say, uh, Wednesday night, 
it's going to be beautiful. You can sit down, have a nice martini, um, enjoy the weather. But in the morning, you got to get going and you got to get ready for work. And what better way than to try a new coffee? And that's what we like to do here on Bourbon and Booze. Hopefully you're enjoying this. But today we have a coffee that almost all of you can get here in the States. Outside of the States, I'm not so sure um, what the availability of this is. I have seen this in Europe. Um, this brand, not necessarily this blend, but I've seen this brand in Europe. So um, hopefully you can get it. But you can definitely get it online through um, either <clears throat> community itself or uh, through Amazon or something like that. So this is community coffee, and you all know that um, when it comes to um, big name coffees, community is not very high on my list of ones that I like, um, but it is growing on me. It's the fact that most restaurants here in my area serve community, and it is not, restaurants just don't do coffee right. They just don't. Every once in a while you'll find a good restaurant that has great coffee consistently or you're going to find a place <clears throat> that does coffee really good one day, horrible the next, or one, really good one batch, horrible the next. It all depends on who's making it, how many grounds they're putting in it, and the flavor of the water, uh, you know, what kind of water they're using and stuff like that. But I've never been a big fan of community. It's starting to grow on me as I make it here at the house. And this is the Community New Orleans Blend. New Orleans Blend. It is a dark roast blend. However, when I made it, and I, I usually put heavy grounds in it, this was grounded, um, it came out fairly light. I, that doesn't look light on camera, but that's pretty light. Almost a very, very, very dark tea. It did have a great aroma because I started it early this morning, <clears throat> jumped in the shower to get ready for work, got dressed, and I could smell it. And that's the first time I've been able to smell coffee in the morning in a long time just because of all sorts of reasons. I'm used to coffee, so I don't pick up those notes as much, but also, you know, congestion and things like that. But it had a great aroma. A little bit dusty, a little bit dirty, earthy dustiness to it, so that nuttiness of uh, coffee. Um, It does have hints of chocolate, but not a lot. It's more fruit. A little bit of uh, fruitiness to it, like a light, oh, I don't know, um, maybe like an apple or a pear kind of fruit. Not necessarily a citrus, but it, it's pleasant fruity floralness to it. But a little bit of the chocolate and nuttiness to it. And it's quite smooth, a lot smoother than I thought for a bold coffee, a dark, bold, dark roast coffee. So, um, kind of skip some things. This is a um, uh, community dark roast. It is ground. Uh, I believe it is 100% Arabica. I did not see anything on the package. And people call me out on this all the time. Uh, this is really tiny writing. And these are trifocals. So sometimes I miss that. But I think it's 100% Arabica. <clears throat> and the price on it was really quite inexpensive. About $10 for this 12-ounce uh, bag. Uh, not bad at all. Um, but yeah, it's quite mellow on the flavor. So it's actually a really good morning coffee. I, I yeah. Not a problem with this. I I'm, I, I kind of like this. So, like I say, new community, or not new community, but community is growing on me. Um, but it's all about me making it and not some restaurant, not some store. And I'm really interested in your comments about, is there a restaurant out there that tastes consistently good? Um, we did go to a place called Cracker Barrel and ended up buying their coffee because their coffee was fabulous and it was fabulous at home um, and I've reviewed that episode you can watch that below uh, that was a place I would go consistently for coffee but going consistently to a place for coffee is really hit or miss for me uh, but I would really be interested in your comments uh, in what is your favorite restaurant coffee not that community is solely a restaurant coffee, but 
uh, I guess that'll do it for us. Make sure you do leave those comments below. Check out uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. I am really close to um, having a major life change in my life. I'm retiring and I'm going to be able to devote way more time to this channel. A lot more research, a lot more energy, a lot more um, work on editing. Editing is my... Uh, Achilles, so to speak. I am a one-man show here, so I do have Cody here to help out, but he doesn't do any of the editing or anything. He wants to try, so we'll see about that. But um, a lot better research in, in all of that stuff, so I'm really excited. That's another two months away, uh, but you will hopefully be seeing some changes and some evolution in our editing and, and reviews and maybe a lot more things like that. We've been having some guest speakers, or not guest speakers, but some guests on the show and doing some interviews. So make sure you look for all of those in the future. Uh, we are coming up on our 500th whiskey episode, 500th whiskey episode here in uh, just a few days. So make sure you check that out. I'm really excited about that. Um, we haven't even filmed that. I have no idea what we're doing. Cody and I are just kind of talking about it, but we'll be filming that. We're doing another barrel pick this weekend. And so I will be really excited to show you uh, what I brought back. Uh, the last barrel pick that we did, um, <clears throat> just got news this morning that um, it will be coming out pretty quick. So I'll be able to pick those up and show you that. But, <clears throat> ooh, congestion start to come in. But go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and share the video. It means a lot to us. And we will see you uh, tomorrow for whiskey. Uh, and it's the whiskey that I've been promising for a long time and keep forgetting to put out. So... I'm super excited about it. But we'll talk to you later. Cheers.